What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Gian Paolo and uh, today's video is going to be a pull workout uh, that I put up another voiceover type of video for you guys today. Um, and if you're new to this channel, you're looking to build some muscle and get in shape, make sure you hit that button right there and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, I hope that you guys are ready because the video starts in three and two and one. What's up guys, welcome to another video, this, today's video is going to be a pull workout and this pull workout is brought to you by GP Fit and in this first exercise today we're going to be doing a pull up, uh, so starting off with a big compound movement like the pull up so if you guys can't do a proper pull up make sure to use the assisted pull up machine I also brought my dear friend Joe in today's workout so make sure you go follow him on Instagram alright guys relating back to the pull ups so uh, this first exercise we're gonna be doing a wide grip pull ups uh, you guys can also alternate with a close grip pull ups but that's all up to you um, it's really good to do a combination of both and in today's pull ups we're gonna be focusing on Squeezing the latissimus dorsi at the top of the rep, uh, holding it for about one to two seconds, and really, really going on the full range of motion here, guys. Um, it's very important that we do a full range of motion whenever we do pull up so that it activates the lats much more effectively. And uh, starting off with pull ups will help us prepare for a heavy back workout today. Second exercise today, we're going to be performing a bent over barbell rows and this exercise is really beneficial for uh, developing a thick mid back. So just like any other row exercises that we perform, uh, we're going to be focusing on scapular retraction um, and really getting that full squeeze with the row, um, just like any other exercises uh, that involves rowing. Also, make sure, guys, that you're continuously breathing throughout the exercise. Um, this exercise is one of the staple in my back slash pull workouts. Uh, the reason why is because this exercise allows us to uh, overload the muscles um, in terms of weight. So it's really, really good in developing back and pull strength. Not to mention that this exercise will buy you a free ticket to Aesthetic Airlines and Aesthetic Airlines is you know achieving that V taper that everybody wants so perform this exercise and get ready for takeoff. Moving on to our next exercise here we are performing a seated back row machine so if your gym does not have this type of machine make sure you alternate it with the seated row machine um, but here we're going to be focusing on uh, really contracting the back muscles um, and really focusing on the eccentric portion of the exercise here. So two to three seconds on the negatives guys and one to two second hold on the contraction. So that's the type of tempo that um, I want you guys to follow uh, with this exercise. And another thing is that I want you guys to focus on really, really keeping your chest up on this exercise. Um, it provides a better lat activation uh, when you do keep your chest up. And you guys can also notice here that I have a really, really fresh fade, uh, but now it is all gone. So that's kind of sad, but I like this exercise, guys, because it takes away the balance uh, of me standing up. So uh, just by being seated, uh, it allows me to really isolate my lats and my back muscles and really just focus on the contraction. Alright guys, so moving on to our next exercise, we have another variation of the bent over barbell rows. And what I really enjoy about this exercise is that it provides more stability than uh, the normal bent over barbell rows because it just takes out your legs. So all you do is literally leaning on this machine um, and just really emphasizing and focusing on the contraction. And in this exercise, I'm using a mid grip. And what a mid grip would allow you guys to do is uh, to hit more of the mid back. A wide grip uh, in this exercise would allow you to hit more of the rear delts uh, and while the close grip will allow you to hit more lat activation. So it depends on uh, whichever you guys prefer and it also depends on what type of muscle group that you guys are trying to emphasize more on. Uh, so for me, especially, I am kind of lacking with the thickness of my back, uh, especially the mid back. So I like to perform this exercise with the mid grip. 
Alright guys, so moving on to my favorite exercise, here we are performing a dual grip lap pull down. So instead of using the straight bar, uh, we're using a dual grip um, and what this exercise will allow us to do is to move the joints at a much free motion uh, as opposed to uh, using a straight bar. Um, and this exercise is actually much more comfortable for beginners to use. Uh, as opposed to using just a straight bar uh, in the lap pull downs. Another benefit of this exercise, guys, is that it allows us to move our wrist at different locations, allowing for a variation of activation for the lats. Um, and what I really want you guys to focus on when performing this exercise is keeping that chest up so that it allows for a much more effective contraction on the latissimus dorsi. And I really, really enjoy this exercise, guys. And it's always good to switch things up from your normal straight bar uh, lap pull down. So I uh, highly recommend for this exercise. Alright guys, moving on to our shoulder workout for today, we're going to be starting off with a dumbbell shoulder press for 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps, focusing on the full range of motion and uh, just building that mind to muscle connection with the deltoids here. Um, and you guys can see that we are putting on our game faces for this workout. Um, really, really enjoy this workout guys and I like to end off my uh, back workout uh, with shoulders because personally uh, my shoulders and my deltoids are lagging so uh, I like to just incorporate uh, random shoulder workouts like the dumbbell shoulder press at the end of my back workouts to you know continuously work on my lagging muscle groups and improve my physique. And to end off our workout for today, guys, we're going to be performing a seated bent over rear delt raise. Um, we're going to be performing that for three sets of 8 to 12 reps. If you guys enjoyed the video today and you learned something out of this video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And again, thank you guys so much. GP Fit out. That wraps up our workout for today, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a like. Comment down below what kind of videos you guys want me to make in the future. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm going to plug in Joseph's um, Instagram. Um, shout out Joseph uh, for helping me film this video, helping me film this workout. And I'll see you guys. Yeah. More than we meant to be. It might be this time. Hey. Hey. Pop the trunk, I open up. I saw my soul a good price out of sight. My whole got talent.